Today is uh, April 6, 2024. Uh, my wife bought me this gorgeous trailer for my birthday in February. It's a 20 foot Spartan, uh, enclosed V nose, extra tall. I believe it is a, uh, I know it's 20 foot. It's either seven and a half, oh, it's eight and a half wide. The gorgeous black, it's just like a freaking mirror. We added chrome center caps. The sun's pretty bright. Put a do not hire sticker on it. Added some rigid lights up here on both sides. They have a small uh, illumination with the running light and then when you put it in reverse, those will come on. Nice clear tail lights. Really sexy at night. Again, chrome chrome caps but I've been working on it for about a month I added an exterior light here and another one here which I'll show you better in a minute so I added a electric tongue jack but for now I'm just gonna unhook the power from the truck because I don't want anybody to think that it's hooked up so it's nothing's hooked up so we'll go inside All right, so first thing we did was paint the walls. Then I added the epoxy to the floor with the blue speckle. I added the E-track on the floor, both sides and then the walls. Then we get to the good stuff. So we got E-track all the way around. We got a, a conv convex mirror for um, Loading by myself. Got my spare tire. Got my floor jack. Jack handles here. Fire extinguisher. First aid kit. This is a set of 30 foot jumper cables. Um, spare center cap. Tire. Got an Optima uh, 12 volt battery. Warren. 10,000 pound winch on a receiver so it can be removed. An air tank, got a Viair compressor, toolbox, and uh, road triangles. Really cool thing here is, if you look here, this is the battery voltage right now. I've got air compressor here, which its tank is full, so it doesn't need it. But then we've got lights. We've got five LEDs. 48 inches long and then outside I've got these guys front and back all this is running off this one battery so Wentz is wireless or wired either one um, still got to put these little rollers I'm gonna get Ronnie to weld these on the bottom of the trailer at the back at Middleburg trailers um, Pretty much it. It's been a lot of work though, a lot of wiring. Um, I've got air, airline here. And then I also ran air behind this panel up and over. I tied it into some pecs and brought it all the way down. And then brought it behind that panel. I've got an air block here. And down here I've got another it's 150 amp uh, quick connect. It's saying the power's on. So with that 30 foot of jumper cables, I can jump from here another 30 feet, which is pretty cool. So I've got airline in the tank in the um, toolbox, which is a 30 foot, I think, coiled airline. Um, air chuck, all that fun stuff. All my e-track stuff here. Um, I did do a relay for the um, air compressor. I did a, a kind of like a isolation block for the ground so I can turn the power off. So nothing off the truck is affected by this system at all. And this system is not affected by the truck. But I do have a solar driver on here. So it's, it's um, of course, keep the little batteries charged battery and 
at the front. I added an air, airline connect here, which I can also use for a bleeder because it's at the lowest part of the tank. And then I've got another 175 or 150, or whatever they are, amp quick connect here, which goes to my truck. So I've got the quick connect on my truck. I got an airline there. So I can tie the truck and the trailer together and help whichever one out that needs helping, I guess. Um, it does have a screen door, which is really nice. And I like the fact that it doesn't have a roof vent. So anyway, I hope you like it. I love it. It's a really cool trailer. Can't wait to put my Mustang in it. But it turned out really good. A lot of work, but it's worth it. Thanks for watching.